Kyla, down the front, right here. Hello. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? How you doing? Nice jacket. Oh, thank you. I like your shirt. Appreciate you. Not at all. Uh, so how's fight week been for you uh, here in Houston so far? It's been great, man. Gallery over here is pretty cool. I like it. Now, coming off of your last loss, a lot of people, I think, I thought it, at worst it was a draw, uh, or a lot of people also scored it for you. Was it difficult to like shake off that performance and like because you're you're the guy Howling then got a fight like pretty quickly, and we haven't seen you since that fight. I've been just getting better. Like that was perfect opportunity for me to grow, get more focus, and like I'm really glad it happened. So you're gonna see a different matrix 2.0. And speaking of the guy you're fighting on Saturday, Marcelo, what do you make of his uh, skill set and what he brings to the octagon? He's another dude in the way that is uh, willing to fight. A tough dude. He's got some skills. Also, he's got some weaknesses, and we're going to expose those. Well, I don't know if you're a guy that watches tape, but he does have, I think, four of his losses have been by submission. So is it that – is the path to victory just that clear that if you do take him down, you'd see it'll, it'll, I mean, you want to get a creative flow, but you also want some type of – little bit of a blueprint, so – a little bit of both, yeah. Attack, attack, attack certain things, but then at the same time, be in the moment, be there, right there. That's I'm just going to be there in that moment, and you're going to see what happens. And unrelated to this fight, but on your Instagram, uh, can you tell me what you're teasing with the local spot that you were? Yeah, so me and my boy, we started this this thing, local spot. We just go check out different spots in local. It's not just in Arizona, but all over the place, and we're just doing some things. I'm getting merch. I got my website up, kimatrix.co. You can check that out. Um, we're just doing some vlogs, so I'm just started vlogging basically my whole life, and it's kind of cool. Is you making your own coffee as a, like at a coffee shop? Like they named something after you? Yeah, I went. I made a Matrix coffee. It's a matcha tea. I got some matcha tea mixed with some like peanut butter, organic peanut butter. Whisk that together, and then I put some vanilla extract. Shh, that shit is. What's the go. spot in Arizona? Uh, my spot. I can't okay. review, but that's uh, what's uh, yeah, yeah, my spot, local spot. Kyler over here. Um, his, hearing you talk about that last decision, I mean, do you have any resentment? Obviously, it's a learning experience, but were you angry? I have no resentment for anything. I'm here right now. Like, I'm literally right here, and I'm able to do this as my job. I love this. I've been working my whole life to do this, and, like, it's there's no resentment. I'm just grateful to be able to do this, and you guys are going to see that this is what I'm made for, and this is what I like to do. So, um, yeah, that's this is a fight the whole my life. Yeah. I'm assuming you didn't agree with the decision, though, right? Of course. But the decision is I'm right here, and I, I made it, and, like, I got so many more opportunities, so I'm excited. Thanks. Kyle, over here, my man. This is it. There he is. <laughs> you said something interesting uh, when talking to James Lynch, which kind of resonated with me. Um, when he asked you what some of the takeaways are from your last fight, you said focus, lifestyle, and communication. Uh, I was just wondering, basically, can you kind of elaborate on how these aspects in your life have evolved? Uh, it's just being aware of every moment. You guys all have the same. We all have that. We can choose to make any type of situation work for us or work against us, whether that's thoughts, whether that's physical on the outside, but on the inside, we're being renewed every single day. We keep growing that factor, that muscle faith in your mind that you start to build. And over time, like, what, like what's next? Whatever comes after me, I'm going to just make the best out of it. What can we make the best out of this moment? And that's just by being here, not by the past. The past is the past. Not, you know, being apprehensive of the future, but just being right here, being able to enjoy and taking what, what is rightfully ours, you know? And working for it. Yeah. Right here. Sorry. Um, three of your four UFC fights earned you performance of the night's honors. I'm just wondering, when you're coming into these fights, are you making it a point to try to be exciting? Or does it just happen naturally by virtue of your style of a martial artist? What are you guys saying? I'm just being myself. That's it. Like, I just go in there and do me, and that's... Uh, that's just a result of that and by being there in the moment, you know, like my boy Marcus says, you got to be grateful. It's about being grateful. Do you want to be great? And be grateful of that. Take the moment and enjoy it. Oh, come on. That's it? Come on, Marcus, what you got? All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.